Hey guys, Diecast Empress here, back with another quick cars review. Now today we are going to be continuing on in our little saga of creating my own Flo's V8 Cafe. So what I've done here is I've just hit everything with a nice primer, sort of grayed it all up to make it easier for painting. And I'm now just picking out some highlight details with silver. Then go on to my favourite part, which is the acrylic painting. Now I am going for more of a rustic look with flows as it is in the movie, sort of weathered by the desert. It does look a little bit sort of rustic. And as you can see, my puppy is going ballistic in the background of these shots, but nevertheless. So what we're doing here is we're just hitting that middle air filter looking section with some cream to sort of make it pop. And now we're going over the highlights of the external part of the buildings with sort of this bluey colour which we see all over flows and you can see in some of the shots has worn away. Giving the little curb detailing that nice blue as well just because it does make it pop and that's how it does appear in the movie so got to give it a, a real sort of rustic look and try and make it as screen accurate as possible. I am lucky in this sense that the cars movie everything is a little bit sort of dingy and dirty so that does help with the painting style it's a lot easier to paint in sort of a dingier style than it is to paint in a lighter style given the flows cafe it's nice blue as well here and then moving on to the v8 sign making that really pop with that nice red coloring absolutely beautiful now the spark plugs here i could have had these printed in sort of a clear plastic and then put led lights in but i decided not to i decided just to make it all one color for, for sort of ease and cheapness and therefore i'm giving them a bit of a red and a sort of yellowy pop to them picking out the top of the pistons on what is the sort of the, the engine block of the v8 in that blue as well not really paying much attention to detail here because again that weathered look is perfect for this and obviously the pumps themselves are blue whacking that lovely lovely sort of duck egg um, light blue that i've got here this sort of aqua blue really really beautiful but again really not paying much attention to any of the cracks or details because it is weathered it is flow so it really doesn't matter all that much so making sure that everything sort of fits in within the world itself just gotta make it all blend in which is kind of the hardest part of of making these is making everything blend into the world that it's from one of my favorite parts is the decal so i spent about an hour sort of sourcing some material that i wanted to use using a tape measure taping them like working out the sizing that i wanted just so as that they all fit in a decent way the pumps that you see here are actually screen grabs from um someone's photos from their time at disney world in california uh, where they've got the cars land itself now i decided with my pumps instead of going with the normal ones that you see at flows i decided to go for dynaco uh well, two different types of dynaco on one of the pumps so this is obviously the classic dynaco logo that we know and love with the t-rex um, and i've also got the stegosaurus one Oh, it's not sorry it's the brontosaurus one that i've got here um and that is for one of the other pumps and that is a classic dynaco logo that's the one that we see in toy story so i thought i'd use that one for this look i've also got n2o cola as a logo and then i'm sticking that on one of the other pumps and i'm then going to well, try and line this all up so as that it all fits nicely and then i've also got some transberry juice just basically thinking kind of what would be available in the cars world to be drunk um, and obviously that's what these pumps are for they are drinks now on the inside of my flows obviously she is a motorama girl so i've decided that my flows is going to have a nice big motorama girls uh, mural sort of to honor her friends um, the three girls that she sort of joined Radiator Springs with and they obviously went on to continue their modelling career. I know this sign isn't canonically here, it is at another part of Radiator Springs on the abandoned buildings but I kind of liked it here 
um, so making sure that that is all lined up and I'm just adding the other two fuel pump sort of dials if you will for the other side of my foils. Honestly this thing is coming out amazing, I am so happy with how good this 3D print is. This sticker is a silly little one, this is one of the Motorama girls being sprayed by red, I just thought that was quite funny to throw in there. You probably will never see it but I'm, oh no it's there and it makes me laugh a little bit so. Uh, we've got the Escape 2 um, thingy mountain, I can't think of the name of the real movie. But this is one of the carified movies that is another Disney property. If I remember the name of it, I'll whack it up on screen. I can't remember it off the top of my head. Um, we have a low and slow logo. Flo sort of showing her love of her husband. Ramon up on here. So yeah, I thought I'd stick that in there as well. So that she's got him with her at all times. A little bit of a Radiator Springs logo, uh, sort of a photo of Radiator Springs. I thought I'd put that in there as well, just because it then just sort of ties everything together. As I've said, the whole point of making these is trying to tie them into the world, just so they're not an empty building. Got an old Dynaco gasoline uh, logo thing, sort of, that I have on the outside of Flo's kind of advertisement that you might get at a petrol station or a, a gas station, as you Americans would call it. And then you can't have flows without the beautiful checkerboard floor. So sticking that down there. I didn't even cut this perfectly, but again, I'm not really that fussed. No one ever is gonna see the interior of this apart from in photos, and I can just make sure that the photo isn't perfect. And it's just for me, it's not like I'm ever gonna sell this thing, so it doesn't really matter if the floor isn't as perfect as it should be just trying to get it down into all the creases here in the, well, not corners because it's a circle, but you know what I mean, get it all lined up nicely. And yeah, as you can see, we're pretty much there. Just got to crease out the last little bits, um, make sure that they aren't sort of riding up at any point pretty much come to the end here. It is looking beautiful in my opinion. I love adding the decals. Adding decals really does, to me, tie everything together to make sure that what you're doing just works in the world you wanna make it in. And there's so much good art online for different cars decals. It's absolutely one of the easiest things to do is find some really good art to tie into your work. So if anyone's ever looking to do this type of stuff, for themselves that for me is one of the biggest things make sure you get that decal that are all sorted but as always guys i think i have waffled on far too much so i will leave you all with that one and i will catch you all in the next one thanks guys